I kept bringing up this new museum in Kansas and that this new museum, which wasn't yet built, would uh, feature Curry's work called Sun Dogs. And that was the first Curry painting purchased by a Kansas museum. Curry was so appreciative that he visited campus and he donated a watercolor and four lithographs. We received a gift of over 900 works by John Stuart Curry in the early 2000s. Yes. And and those were, you convinced Mrs. Curry to give us those works. Yeah, but it was her idea too. She said, if, if I gave these 950 works to say the Smithsonian, they'd be a drop in the bucket and they would never be shown. But she said, I think maybe at your new museum, without a huge established collection already, that they will be appreciated. So you were telling us that well, what a wonderful restoration. Jesse and Jake, that Thomas R. Benton painting, the way that came about, it was a gift from Jesse Benton. Um, we went out to her home. And Jesse Benton is Jesse Benton's is daughter. Daughter, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she told me a story about it. She said, Everybody thinks Jesse and Jake is Little Red Riding Hood with a wolf. That's right. But she said, it's not. She said, it was me, Jesse, in her little red sweater and cap, and her dog, Jake. And of course, I even thought it looked like Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf because the way Thomas R. Benton paints, his, his figures are often kind of gnarly. Yes. And it, the dog looks kind of wolf-like, I think. Right, yes. But anyway, so. That, that was a special time as well. I know that uh, Gordon Park's Mrs. Jefferson um, print is very, feels like it's very special to you. Can you just elaborate why this particular one you love so much? I, I love the dignity of the woman. I think that, you know, she's um, got a wonderfully sensitive face. I mean, as I age, you know, we have more lines in our faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe she speaks to me even more now mm -hmm. as I get older. But, but there's a, yet a dignity and a wonderful presence and a kindliness, um, a loving presence. In the fall of 1977, when I wandered into the student union at Ottawa University, there were two drawings of an old woman. They were about this big, mm -hmm. and she looked very sad and haunting, and her big green eyes just looked directly at me, and I looked back. That started my uh, uh, promotion of Elizabeth Layton. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. I asked the teacher, who did those strange drawings of the old woman? They're done by Grandma Layton. She's 68 years old. She's taking her first art course. And after I saw her work, and it had affected me so strongly, I thought, if it affects me this way, it will affect others. I think that it is important that we continue to highlight the works of our Kansas artists. Um, I think there's no other museum that fulfills that mission like K-State. I see the reinstalled beach as being very broad and trying to represent all of Kansas and all of the region. My hope is that as we celebrate 20 years, we reaffirm that our mission is to be of service. Mm -hmm. And we certainly have been doing that. I mean, there have been wonderful, wonderful things that have happened at this museum. So many school children and, and um, K-State students, our community, the larger community. I mean, there are just so many wonderful opportunities. And so I, I guess I just hope we reaffirm what we're about. <laughs> <laughs>